Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm Professor Kutsia, and I'm here for the UFX142. Um, you are supposed to have sent me questions if you have some queries about the module, but I only received one question, and I'll address that now. I hope it's going well with you with the preparation of the module. I am still available if you have gone through the module and you didn't send in your, your questions. You are most welcome to contact me on email, and I did provide my email in the previous video, and you'll find it in the, the module guide as well. Uh, you are still also welcome to send in your questions right now, and the questions will be relayed to me, and I'll be able to answer, I hope I'll be able to answer the questions. Let us have a look at the question that I did receive from the Bethlehem tutor. Um, it was about assignment one, there's a, a discrepancy. If you go to page 21 of your, stu of your guide, you will see that assignment one is discussed there, and you will see the, the question that I circled, number two, says what key values does the code mention in the relations of educators with the Department of Education? And if we go to page 49 in your student guide, you will see in your study guide, you will see that somehow that question was deleted there. Um, so just write in on page 49 in your guide, write page 21 and you'll see the question. It should be the same as question one, but the relation with the educators with the Department of Education. Another discrepancy here is that the marks that you will find here, question one, the mark should be four and not six. Question two, the mark should be four and not two. If you go down the page, you will see that that means that in the rubric here, where you are going to use the values to, to evaluate the, the, the assignment, you'll find that they are correct. It should be four for the first question, four for the second, and four for the third, and four for the fourth. And I changed that so that they have equal values. Then 12, 2, and the, the total of the assignment is 30. So when you prepare, and, uh, and I think that's very important that you should relay this to the students, tell them to correct this uh, because that will influence their preparation. If you go to page 21, you will see that even here the marks are not right. It should be four for question one, four for question two. Just let them correct that in, in the study guides. So that's with regard to assignment one. Um, assignment one is about the code of ethics. Um, uh, let me just say a few words about assignment one. I think it's important um, that you look at question five. You'll see the value of question five is 12. Uh, and the reason for that is you have to give, the students have to give a critical evaluation of the professional code of, of conduct. They won't find this in the study guide. This is supposed to be their own independent work. Um, and they have to critically evaluate something. Now, explain to them that if you critically evaluate something, you don't just say you don't agree with it. If you don't agree with one of the items in the code of conduct, you have to say why. So a critical evaluation always goes together with the motivation. And the, the wonderful thing about this is that there are no right or wrong answers. If somebody doesn't agree with the relationship that educators have to have with the Department of Education, they are allowed to say they don't agree, but they have to say why. So actually, they can accumulate a lot of marks of the 12 here. But, but what I find, I found in previous years is that the students don't do very well here because our students are, are rote learners, unfortunately, they still are, our, our teachers, um, and they are scared to give their own view. So coach them on that, help them to think uh, that they, they are allowed to be critical of the code of conduct. Nobody's going to send it to the Minister of Education and they're not going to get into trouble. That's very, very important. And here, um, if you 
look at uh, question five again. They are allowed to say, I would, I would like to scrap this one item or I would like to add something else. So those are also options for, for question five there. Okay, and if we look at page 50, let's go to assignment two. Um, assignment two is maybe uh, the assignment that the students find the most difficult because, again, it has to do with the working out of a lesson. Now, I understand that these days lessons are provided by the Department of Education, so this is going to be an exercise where they have to think for themselves. They have to uh, look at the content of a story, a poem, or a newspaper article, and they have to work out a lesson around that. Now, it could happen that it's a mathematics lesson, and they, uh, students will say, how can I use a newspaper article, how can I use a story, or how can I use a poem? But I assure you it's possible to do that. So let them think innovatively um, and try and, and, and work out a lesson. I would advise you, as the tutor of the teachers, to, to thoroughly go through these assignments. What the students also do that I've found in, in, in moderating these assignments is they give you uh, just uh, phrases. Let them write out the, the lesson in full sentences. Don't just write the uh, a rubric. Explain what the rubric is going to look like. It's good if you can give the rubric. Um, for example, the introduction of the lesson. Don't just put the uh, poem. Read the poem. You, it must be logical for somebody else who is not a teacher. Um, we don't send telegrams anymore. I'm sure you are too young to know what a telegram is. But uh, uh, if you write out this lesson, if you plan the lesson, don't just write the teaching method. If you say, I'm going to use collaborative learning, explain what collaborative learning is. Explain what, uh, how you are going to handle collaborative learning. How are you going to place the learners in the class and what are they going to do in terms of collaborative learning? So if they put down, uh, as uh, number four, if they put down teaching method, collaborative learning, you can't give them any marks because you don't know whether they know what collaborative learning is. You don't know whether they know how to use collaborative learning in terms of doing a poem. Uh, so it's all about doing the right thing in the class that is relevant to what you are going to use. And that's why I've, <coughs> excuse me, that's why I have asked them to, to or I've, I've written in the, the, uh, the rubric here that it should be relevant. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with regard to assignment two, it's very important that the word relevance in question one is, is explained to the students. So they can't just use the poem without it being relevant to the lesson that they are teaching. So if it's a maths lesson and whatever theme they choose in maths, it must be, the relevance must show. Um, the marks, as you can see, are quite high here because the relevance of, of the poem to the, to the theme and to the way in which you, the teacher will be teaching it is very important. You'll see that I've <coughs> allocated marks, relatively small marks for uh, the rest of, uh, uh, low marks for, for the other aspects. Um, the body of the lesson is very important. And as I said earlier on in relation to, to assignment one, it's very important that um, <coughs> they do not write telegram style. So let them explain the lesson in, f in full, explain exactly what it is that they are going to do. One can even say to them that the way in which they write out the lesson must be so thorough that if they can't teach the lesson themselves, they can give it to somebody else who will fully understand what it is that they have to do. Okay, if there are any other questions with regard to the module UFX 142, you are welcome to ask them now. Or if you, um, at a later stage, have a problem with the, with the module, please contact me on my email 
and I will uh, reply to your, your request. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the module. I hope it goes well. And there's also one important point. If there are things in the module that you feel don't really work, if there are concepts that I haven't explained well in the module, if there are things that the students struggle with, or you as a tutor struggle with, please contact me because it will help for the improvement of the module in future. Thank you very much.